What happened is that Enzo, in a very professional way, was like praying Manuel Rui Costa, Benfica president, to accept the proposal and to go to Chelsea. Hey guys, welcome back on the channel. It's been an incredible deadline day with a big story, broken life, Enzo Fernandez to Chelsea. But we have many secrets of this story. Many things happened behind the scenes. And so let's jump into it together. Fernandez deal was a really mad one because really many things happened behind the scenes. First point I wanted to clarify, the player has been crucial. Enzo Fernandez has been really important for this move because we know that in the first week of January when everything started between Chelsea and Benfica for Enzo Fernandez, the player was pushing and was pushing very hard, didn't go to train, so the player was really insisting for the move. But then in the final days of January, after that negotiation collapsed at the beginning of January and then it restarted in the final days of the window, what happened is that Enzo, in a very professional way, was like praying Manuel Rui Costa, Benfica president, to accept the proposal and to go to Chelsea. Enzo was really insisting. Enzo had this dream of the Premier League and Enzo wanted Chelsea move. So he was really insisting and it was crucial because Rui Costa, the president of Benfica, had no intention to accept until few minutes before the end of the transfer window. So Enzo was crucial. How the clubs reached an agreement? What happened in the beginning of January is that Chelsea made a bid for Enzo Fernandez of 85 million euros plus uh, add-ons and players included. So with the possibility to include some players into the deal. Benfica said no, 120 or nothing. Big tension for two weeks. Benfica have no intention to negotiate again. In particular, the president, Manu Ricosta, was furious with Chelsea. He didn't want to accept any other kind of proposal. But Chelsea were still there. They were offered many possibilities for the midfield, players from different countries, from Spain, from Italy. So they were considering many possibilities, but then they were always answering Enzo, Enzo, Enzo. We will try again for Enzo. And they did it. With the proposal, the opening one was 100 million euros plus players but Benfica again, no way, 120 or nothing. Chelsea offer 120 paid in installments, but for Benfica is not enough. How they reach the agreement on the deadline day? In a crazy way, after 20 hours negotiation, on Monday the deal is closed, it's really close, but Benfica president Manuel Ricosta meets with all the people of the board and he's still not convinced about accepting the deal. So during the night, Chelsea were expecting between the night, between Monday and Tuesday, to have Enzo in London and to do the medical, but Benfica are not giving the green light. Enzo was disparate. Enzo was pushing, but what happens is that Chelsea try again 20 hour negotiations from Tuesday morning to the end of the deadline day. And how they make it? With the payment in installments, six different installments for the 120 million euros deal, but big part of the fee will be paid up front and this 40 million pounds paid immediately and the rest in installments. The contract of the player is a deal until June 2031. Very long contract for the financial fair play, but it was already agreed in January. So between Enzo and Chelsea, there was never any problem. The real issue was Manuel Rui Costa, Benfica president. He wanted to keep the player at all costs. Chelsea were involved with all the people of the board. The president, Todd Bolli, and of course the owners, Bedadek Dali, involved in the deal. The whole board, Paul Winstanley, Joe Shields, Lawrence Stewart, Paul Winstanley again, but also uh, Christopher Vivel, of course, the technical director. They were all together pushing for Enzo. Incredible work also by the owners because they were actively working on that one. And so it was a big big fight with Benfica. The negotiation was mad. One minute optimism, one minute negative. The feeling was really different on Tuesday. At one point, 8 p.m. of the deadline day, the deal was collapsed. 100% collapsed. But Chelsea didn't give up. They decided to insist again and again to offer different terms and at the end. And so was pushing. The medical was done and the deal was signed after midnight. So here we go. Enzo Fernandez to Chelsea. Guys, let me know your thoughts here in the comments. Like this video, turn on the notification bell. As always, follow the channel and see you soon with Fabrizio Romano. Ciao!